Now we can configure the HSRT or check the practical of the HSRT. For checking the HSRT, we need a scenario like this. I'm using cables for these two routers are connected with cloud you can say ISP or internet this cloud have only one port so I am deleting this router I am using the second one does not have any port so delete this now configure HSRT This is our router 1. This is our router 1. Now, for creating a group or standby group, you need to go interface. For example, here the scenario is like this this interface f is 0 by 0 of this router and this interface f is 0 by 0 of this router creates a virtual group creates a virtual group so we need to go first on this interface of the router 1 so go to interface f is 0 by 0 now the command for creating a group is standby. After giving standby, you need to type here the number, group number. Group number is, the range of group number is 0 to 255. You can see here, the group number. The range of group number is, sorry, 0 to 4095. You find 0 to 255 in old versions but in newer version you will use 024095 as a group number but in old version we, we will find the 02255 only now I am using group number as 10 after group number just type IP we need a give IP address to this particular virtual group the IP address of this is I am using 10.1.1.10 press enter there is a warning the warning is address is not within a subnet of this interface it means in the case of HSRP Like here, this is our interface. This is our interface. We are creating a virtual group in HSRP. This IP and this IP are in same network or same subnet, you can see. These two are two IPs are part of same subnet so we need to give a unique IP address to virtual router or virtual group and this IP is also part of the same network or same subnet for example if I am giving here 10.0.0.1 here 10.0.0.1 I am using 24 here I am using 24 here so we need to use the unique IP address I am not using here 10.0.0.1 I am not I cannot use this I cannot use 2 because these two are used for physical addresses I need to use unique IP address 
and the same subnet mask that is 24. So first we need to configure the routers this interface. Go to this scenario, open your routers interface and give the IP address to the physical interface. Interface FA 0 by 0 IP address. I am giving 10.1 here. Go to this slash 8. No shut. Giving the 10.0.0.2 here for this interface of router 2. Go to the CLI mode of the router 2. Use no shut command. Now we give the IP address to this interface and this interface of the same subnet. So we need to give a virtual IP to the virtual group of the same subnet and that particular IP must be unique. It means that particular IP does not given to any physical interface or any physical host. Now I am going to this interface FA 0 by 0, interface FA 0 by 0. Now I am creating a virtual group that is standby. I am giving the virtual group as 10. This is my ID that I am using for creating virtual groups. Now I am giving the IP address to this particular virtual group. The IP address is 10.0.0.10. Press enter. Now this IP address is given to that particular virtual group and the MAC, virtual MAC address is calculated by, by this standby group number as we already discussed about that. Now you can give the name to this group standby 10 name. You can give the name anything you want like I am giving the name QWERTY. Name QWERTY. This command is not runnable on this Cisco packet tracer. You can run this command on real Cisco routers. Now you can change the priority by default scenario is like this these two routers are part of a virtual group this virtual group have a virtual IP and virtual MAC address I am giving virtual IP by this command By this command, I am giving the virtual IP to the standby group. The group number is 10 and the virtual IP is this. By the group number, HSRP automatically calculate the virtual MAC address. After calculating IP and MAC address, HSRP need to select a router that becomes active and the other router becomes standby. For this, HSRP uses priority. In this case, HSRP higher priority becomes active. Which router have higher priority that becomes active, all other routers becomes standby. By default, the router ID is 100 
you can change the priority from 0 to 255. Now for changing the priority, the command is and standby priority. Standby. Standby then the number of the group then type priority. You can give the priority here. The priority is 0 to 255. The higher value is always preferred. By default value is 100. So I am giving 110 because I want to create this router as an active one. Press enter. This I am creating the virtual group on this router. We need to add this interface into that particular virtual group. So go to this interface of the router 2 interface f is 0 by 0 that is a part of our LAN. I am giving here the same command. The command is standby group number 10 because I am using 10 as a group number on the other routers so I need to use 10 also here. Now the IP address give the IP address 10.0.0.10 because I am using 10.0.0.10 on other router we need to use same IP address because the virtual router have only one IP so need to give that particular one IP to all router that may be a active router or that may be a standby router. Now press enter. Now this IP is used as a gateway for all hosts. In the gateway, in the gateway, I am using 10.0.0, 10.0.0.10. This is becomes gateway for all hosts. Now. This is all commands related to enabling the HSRP on routers. Now by giving these commands, these two routers of these interfaces join together and create a virtual group that group number is 10 and IP address is 10.0.0.10. For checking, the command is show standby. You can type the interface also, you can type the brief. I'm using brief here. On this router, this particular router, interface F is 0 by 0 is the part of group 10 that priority is 110. It becomes active router because the priority is high than the other router. You can use the other routers, the same command, show standby brief. This is our router 1, this is our router 2. You can see here, F is on router 1, F is 0 by 0 is the part of group 10 that's priority is 110. Now on router 2 f is 0 by 0 is the part of group 10 that's priority is 100 because the 100 is a default priority. This router is in standby mode and this router becomes active because higher priority becomes active always. Now the standby virtual IP is 10.0.0.10 you can check here also. The standby router's ID is this. The standby router's ID is 10.0.0.2. Now here you can check standby. Standby router is local router. It means this router is standby itself. This is all about the HSRP.
you can use this command also show standby this shows fast ethernet this shows the same thing but in detailed way and or you can say the in different view fast ethernet 0 by 0 is the part of group 10 this state is standby the virtual IP address is this active virtual MAC address is this and local virtual MAC address is this hello is 3 seconds hold is 10 seconds next hello is send in 0 0.431 seconds the active router is 10.0.0.1 standby router is local it means this router itself is standby the priority is 100 default is 100 now you can use the same command on this router also you can see here the active router is local the standby router is 10.0.0.2 the priority is 110 the group name is hsrp fa0 by 0 10 this is the default name you can change the name i am already discussed about that command but that command is not runnable on cisco packet tracer on this simulator you can run this command on the real routers now this is all about hsrp now we move to the second protocol that is VRRP.